Svetla Amortova was a prominent figure in Czech history. She was a celebrated actress who graced the stages of prestigious theatres. However, her life took a dramatic turn during World War II. The war years and their aftermath cast a long shadow on her career and personal life. This essay explores the life of Svetla Amortova, delving into her early successes, wartime experiences, and controversial political activities. Born in 1911, Amortova's passion for the arts bloomed early. She possessed a natural talent for captivating audiences. She poured her heart and soul into every performance. Her dedication led her to a career in theater. She quickly gained recognition for her talent and stage presence. Audiences and critics alike praised her performances. Amatova's early career flourished. She became a well-respected figure in the Czech theater scene. Her future seemed bright, filled with the promise of artistic achievement. However, the looming threat of war cast a shadow over Europe. It would soon change the course of Amortova's life, pushing her onto a very different stage. World War II engulfed Europe, plunging the continent into chaos and darkness. The Nazi regime's grip tightened, casting a long shadow over Czechoslovakia. Svetla Amortova, driven by a fierce patriotism, refused to stand idly by. She made the courageous decision to join the Czech resistance. Amortova's theatrical background proved unexpectedly useful. She used her acting skills to adopt different identities, moving through occupied territory with calculated stealth. She risked her life delivering messages, transporting supplies and aiding those targeted by the Nazi regime. Her bravery and commitment to her country were unwavering. However, danger lurked at every turn. Amortova's clandestine activities did not go unnoticed. In a devastating turn of events, the Gestapo apprehended her. She was imprisoned for her resistance work. The horrors she endured during her captivity would forever scar her. The experience left an indelible mark on her soul. Svetla Amortova's imprisonment was a harrowing chapter in her life. She faced brutal conditions within the walls of the Nazi prison. The physical and psychological torture inflicted upon her left her with deep wounds, but the most horrific aspect of her captivity was the alleged medical experimentation she was subjected to. The Nazis conducted horrific medical experiments on prisoners. Amortova was allegedly subjected to these inhumane procedures. While the exact nature and extent of these experiments remain shrouded in some mystery, there is evidence to suggest they had a devastating and lasting impact on her health. The physical and emotional scars of this trauma would haunt her for the rest of her life. The alleged experiments left Amortova with lasting physical and emotional pain. They also had a profound impact on her ability to have children. It is believed that these procedures left her infertile a loss that weighed heavily on her. The cruelty she experienced at the hands of the Nazis shaped her worldview, fueling a deep-seated anger and resentment. Section 4. A New Stage Post-War Career and Communist Allegiance When World War II finally ended, Svetla Amortova emerged from the ashes of conflict, a changed woman. The devastation she witnessed and the personal losses she endured had left an indelible mark on her soul. She returned to the stage seeking solace and purpose in her art. The theater became her sanctuary, a place where she could channel her emotions and find a semblance of peace amidst the chaos of post-war recovery. However, the trauma she endured during the war cast a long shadow over her life and career. The memories of the horrors she had seen and the people she had lost were Never far from her mind, she threw herself into her work, but her performances were now imbued with a newfound intensity, a reflection of the pain and resilience she carried within. Each role she took on became a cathartic experience, a way to process her grief and channel her strength. The war had also solidified Amortova's political beliefs. The suffering she had witnessed and the injustices she had experienced led her to seek out a political ideology that promised change she became a staunch supporter of the Communist Party. The ideals of equality and justice resonated deeply with her, offering a vision of a world where such atrocities could never happen again. She believed in its promises of a more just and equitable society. The Communist Party's vision of a classless society where everyone had equal opportunities appealed to her sense of fairness and justice.
Her experiences under Nazi oppression fueled her desire for a world free from fascism and oppression. The brutal regime had shown her the worst of humanity, and she was determined to fight for a better future. She saw communism as the answer, the path to creating a better future. To her, it represented hope and the possibility of a world where everyone could live in peace and dignity. Amortova's commitment to communism extended beyond mere ideology. She was not content to simply support the party from the sidelines. She became an active member of the party, using her platform and influence to promote its ideals. Her fame and talent gave her a powerful voice and she used it to advocate for the changes she believed in. She truly believed in the cause, but her wartime experiences, coupled with her unwavering faith in the party, may have blinded her to the complexities and potential pitfalls of the communist regime. The idealism that drove her also made her vulnerable to the darker aspects of the movement she supported. Section 5, The Accusations, Svetla Amortova and Yurina Stepnikova. These two women, both prominent figures in Czechoslovakia's cultural and political landscape, found themselves entangled in a web of suspicion and betrayal. As Svetla Amortova's star rose within the Communist Party, her relationship with certain colleagues became strained. Her ascent was marked by a fierce dedication to the party's ideals, which often put her at odds with those who were less fervent in their support. Her unwavering loyalty to the regime put her at odds with those who held different views. This ideological rigidity created an atmosphere of tension and mistrust among her peers, leading to numerous conflicts and confrontations. This tension came to a head in the case of Jirina Stepnikova, another prominent Czech actress who fell out of favor with the communist government. Stepnikova, known for her outspoken nature and independent spirit, became a target for the regime's repressive measures. Stepnikova was accused of anti-state activities and arrested. Her arrest sent shockwaves through the artistic community, highlighting the regime's intolerance for dissent and its willingness to silence even the most celebrated figures. Amortova was implicated in the case. Her name surfaced in connection with the accusations against Stepnikova, raising questions about her role in the unfolding drama. Rumors circulated that she had provided information or even testified against Stepnikova, contributing to her imprisonment. These whispers of betrayal cast a long shadow over Amotova's career and personal life. The exact nature of Amotova's involvement remains a subject of debate, but the accusations cast a dark shadow over her reputation. Some believe she was coerced into cooperating with the authorities, while others think she acted out of self-preservation or ideological conviction. Some argue that Amortova, still bearing the scars of her own imprisonment, acted out of a misplaced sense of loyalty to the party. Her previous experiences with the regime may have influenced her actions, leading her to make difficult and controversial choices. Others believe she may have harbored resentment towards Stepnikova, fueled by professional rivalry or personal grudges. The competitive nature of the theater industry combined with personal animosities could have played a significant role in the events that transpired. Whatever the truth, the accusations against Amatova painted her as a collaborator, willing to turn on her own for the sake of ideology. This portrayal of her as a willing participant in the regime's oppressive tactics has left a lasting impact on her legacy, raising questions about the true nature of loyalty and betrayal in a time of political turmoil. Section 6, A Legacy Tarnished. The debate over Amotova's actions has been a topic of intense scrutiny and passionate discussion for decades. The accusations surrounding Svetla Amotova's involvement in the Jirina Stepnikova case sparked a heated debate that continues to this day. This case, which has been dissected by historians and scholars alike, remains a focal point in discussions about moral ambiguity and the complexities of human behavior during times of extreme duress. Her legacy remains complex and contested. Amortova's contributions to Czech theater and her role in the resistance against Nazi occupation are often overshadowed by the allegations of her later actions. Some view her as a hero, a woman who bravely resisted Nazi oppression and dedicated her life to creating a more just society. They argue that her early actions during the war where she risked her life to fight against tyranny 
should be the defining aspects of her legacy. Others see her as a controversial figure, tainted by her alleged collaboration with a regime known for its own brand of cruelty and injustice. They point to her supposed involvement with the communist regime as evidence of a moral failing, a betrayal of the very principles she once stood for.